U.S. Weather News Hurricane Aaron approaches the East Coast, strongest summer cold front to arrive. Good day to all our viewers tuning in to this special weather report. Today, we bring you the latest updates on Hurricane Aaron, now moving closer to the U.S. East Coast and causing dangerous impacts along coastal regions. We will also provide a detailed analysis of a massive cold front sweeping down from Canada. Forecast to bring the coldest weather of the summer to many states. These are critical updates you need to know in order to prepare properly for the days ahead. As of this morning, Hurricane Aaron has approached very near the North Carolina coastline, marking its closest pass to U.S. land since formation. This is a storm of enormous size. And even though the eye is not making a direct landfall, the impacts of strong winds, high surf, rip currents, and storm surge are already causing significant damage across multiple communities. In fact, throughout the past several days, the entire stretch of coastline from southern New England down to Florida has been experiencing dangerous waves, rough seas, and extremely hazardous rip currents. Rescue reports confirm that hundreds of swimmers have had to be pulled from the ocean in life-threatening situations, a stark reminder of the storm's hidden dangers. In the Outer Banks, one of North Carolina's most vulnerable barrier island chains, Aaron's effects have become strikingly clear. Images show sand dunes, once natural storm barriers, collapsing as waves 15 to 20 feet, 5 to 6 meters, high crash ashore. Pushing storm surge inland, forecasts call for water levels rising an additional 2 to 4 feet in many spots. Meaning localized flooding is nearly unavoidable today and tomorrow. Local officials have already issued evacuation orders for several areas, urging residents to move quickly to safety. Another critical development is Aaron's expanding reach. Just days ago, when it was a Category 5 super hurricane, Hurricane force winds were concentrated near the eye. Now, although slightly weaker, Aaron's wind field has expanded two to three times larger than before. This means tropical storm force winds are now extending into North Carolina, bringing damaging gusts and the potential for widespread power outages. Forecasters warn the Outer Banks could see gusts between 60 to 75 miles per hour today, strong enough to topple trees damage weaker structures, and severely disrupt travel. Along coastal areas from Delaware down to South Carolina, storm surge is expected to reach 1 to 3 feet, with the highest levels 2 to 4 feet, between Duck and Cape Lookout. Where evacuation orders remain in effect, Chesapeake Bay and Virginia Beach are also expected to experience 1 to 3 feet of coastal flooding. During high tide, water levels could rise even further putting low-lying neighborhoods at risk of deeper inundation. By midday, Aaron is forecast to begin curving northeastward, slowly pulling away from North Carolina. However, this does not mean the danger will immediately subside. Experts stress that large waves and rip currents will persist at least through tomorrow. This means any beach activity remains extremely risky. In fact, Many beaches across North Carolina and neighboring states have already raised red flags. Warning, no swimming, due to deadly conditions, deadly conditions. Lifeguards emphasize that even strong swimmers cannot overcome rip currents powerful enough to drag someone hundreds of yards offshore in seconds. As Aaron shifts further offshore tomorrow, impacts will spread toward New England waters, Cape Cod, Massachusetts is expected to see strong winds and high surf tonight into tomorrow morning. After that, the storm is forecast to track into the northern Atlantic and transition into a post-tropical system over the weekend. While it will no longer pose a direct threat to the U.S. mainland, dangerous swells generated by Aaron may continue to affect the East Coast for several more days. Meanwhile, the Atlantic remains active with additional tropical systems. A developing tropical disturbance near the Leeward Islands could strengthen into Tropical Depression or Tropical Storm Fernand in the coming days. Tracking toward Bermuda but currently not threatening U.S. landfall. Another disturbance in the Central Atlantic is less likely to organize but will continue to be monitored closely. All of this highlights that the tropics remain highly active, and residents are urged to stay updated.
Beyond the ocean, a dramatic shift in U.S. weather is also underway. A massive cold air mass from Canada is forecast to sweep southward this weekend, bringing the coldest conditions of the summer across much of the eastern half of the nation. By Sunday, the Midwest will feel the first chill, with daytime highs only in the 60s to 70s degree F and nighttime lows dropping into the 40s to 50s degree F. Some northern areas could dip below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, an exceptionally rare occurrence for August. By early next week, this cold front will spread across the entire eastern U.S., stretching as far south as Texas. This will be the strongest cold outbreak of the summer, with the potential to set numerous low-temperature records in multiple states. For residents across the Midwest and East, this will provide a refreshing break from the recent summer heat, delivering crisp, cool, and unusually pleasant conditions. However, Forecasters caution that this cooldown will be temporary. Long-range outlooks suggest temperatures will rebound by early September, returning to hot and humid conditions. But for at least one week, much of the country east of the Rockies will enjoy rare late summer weather that is cooler, drier, and calmer. One additional benefit, the risk of severe storms is expected to remain minimal. While the Midwest has recently endured repeated severe weather with tornadoes and large hail, next week is forecast to be one of the quietest stretches of the summer. With only a few isolated thunderstorm risks in the northern plains. In summary, today's report highlights two major developments. First, Hurricane Aaron, a massive and dangerous storm, is currently closest to the U.S., delivering high surf, storm surge, strong winds, and life-threatening rip currents across the East Coast. Even without landfall, Aaron is powerful enough to cause serious disruptions and coastal damage, especially in North Carolina, Virginia, and surrounding regions. Residents are urged to follow evacuation orders, avoid the beaches, and monitor official advisories closely. Second, immediately following Aaron's exit, a powerful Canadian cold front will surge southward delivering the coolest weather of the summer. Many states are likely to record unusually low August temperatures, giving residents a rare respite before heat returns in September. In short, the United States now faces a dramatic weather transition, battling a major hurricane offshore while preparing for an extraordinary cold wave on land. We will continue to provide detailed updates in our upcoming reports particularly on the cold front's impacts and the next tropical disturbances over the Atlantic. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in our next broadcast.